we're going to go over uh, two problems of your independent practice right now. We're going to go over number one, and we're going to look at some of the examples without bar models. Uh, remember, if the numerators are the same, like they are here in one-fifth and one-third, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. That's because you've cut up your whole into smaller and smaller pieces. Uh, here, I will shade in one-fifth since my numerator is one, and I'll shade in one-third. And you can see very confidently that one-third takes up more of the whole, which means one-third is greater than. If we read this sentence, we'd say one-fifth is less than one-third. Looking down at the bottom, uh, I would see then that I have four-sevenths and four-fifths, which have these same numerators. Since the seven is the bigger denominator, it is the smaller fraction, so four-sevenths is less than four-fifths. I could do the same thing with number four, 11 twentieths and 11 eighty-ninths. My numerators are the same, so the smaller, the, uh, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. So 89 is my smaller fraction, 11 89 is my smaller fraction. So I could say 11 20ths is greater than 11 89 Looking here, I have the same numerator, but I also have the same denominator, 11 and 11 in my denominator. These fractions are exactly equal. So I put an equal sign. Definitely ready for your exit ticket if you've crossed a couple of these. Again, remember, the smaller the denominator, the greater the fraction when the numerators are the same.